Welcome to our channel My Learning Tricks. In this video, we will learn about how to use the Excel as a database connection in the automation anywhere with multiple live examples. And if you have any other queries or thoughts, send it to mylearningtricks at gmail.com. So let's start. First of all, you should know why we need to use the Excel as a database connection. Because of this option will avoid the Excel related issues such as Excel not responding, Excel slowness or any kind of uninterpreted errors. For an example, when we are using the Excel, we are facing a lot of issues such as not responding or Excel will close immediately. In order to avoid those kind of issues, you can use the Excel as a database connection. So let's start. Here I have a service provider list for 12.0 and the other service provider. You can use anything. And the SQL queries, select statement, select with count and the update statement. And you can use insert or else update delete statements. You can use anything. Now I'll give you the brief explanation about each and everything with multiple live examples. So let's start. Before moving to that, all day have uploaded multiple videos about the automation anywhere and the other programming languages such as SQL, HTML, JavaScript and the Excel VBA. So when you have a time, please watch all the videos, like and subscribe my channel. Now directly jump into the Excel as a database command. So in the workbench, you can see database command. When you expand, you can see the subcommands of connect, disconnect, SQL query, insert, update, delete, run store procedure. So our current requirement is we need to connect the database connection into the Excel, Excel workbook. Here I have in my folder, I have a sample workbook. I will open the workbook. I have three columns in my workbook. Year, value, final status and 11 records. I have 11 records in my workbook. So let's start. First of all, we need to connect into the workbook. So drag and drop the connect option and you need to use the connection string. For 12.0, you can use the service provider. Just copy paste this service provider in the connection string. So just click on save. If you are using the any other service providers, if you don't have the 12.0, just go to OLEDB ODBC drivers, click on next, use connection string, build, go to machine data service, click on new. Next, you need to select the XLS, click on next, finish. Here you need to type Excel as a database, Excel as database, then select workbook, you need to select the workbook from the path, select it, then click on OK, everything is done. You can see the test connection over there, perfect, we have connected into the database. So if you are using the 12.0 directly, you can go with this one. I will update this provider as well as SQL queries in my video description. You can use the provider and the SQL queries. My current requirement is I need to extract all the information from the workbook and update it into the exported into the CSV file. For that I need to use SQL query. Here I need to update the select statement. Select star from then my when we are using the database, we are updating the database table name, right? Our database table name. But here we need to update the sheet name, sheet tab name. So here my sheet tab name is sheet1. So I will update the sheet tab name. with the Within the bracket, you need to update and end with dollar symbol. And close the bracket. That's it. Then we have option of maximum number of records to fetch. Which means if you have more than 1 lakh records, if you want to limit that later, like 1000, 2000, 5000, you can limit the data. Now I don't need and time out for query, which means uh, if your query is taking to so much of time, if you would like to avoid those things, you can use the time out for query option, like 15 seconds or one minute, something that you can update. Now I need to export the data into CSV file. I need to check this checkbox and I need to select the folder where I want to store my exported file. And you need to select the uh, update the exported file name. So my file name is data. I need to save the file as data. After that, you need to disconnect the SQL queries for each and every time. Even, even if you are opening the Excel workbook or any kind of workbook, you need to close that. Or else it will affect the other members. Other users will get affected. So please close. And I will run this task so you can see the results. All the SQL values will be fetched and exported into the CSV file. It seems all the values has been fetched. So in my CSV file, I can see all the values has been exported. Please wait for a second. It's opening. Here you can see all the 11 records has been exported as a 
csv file so we got the result successfully just we have updated a value as select star from sheet 1 that's it we have used and check on the check this box like export data into csv file and we have selected the folder that's it you don't need a previous csv files it will automatically it will create the csv file and update the details so i'll disable this one and i'll show you how to use the for loop function within that for that you need to use the sql query here you need to use the same select star from sheet 1 dollar close bracket that's it at this time i am not selecting this checkbox export data into csv since i am using i am going to use the for loop function so just click on save then you need to use the loop function under the loop you can see each row in an sql query just drag and drop click on save within that i will show you the value in message box the message box just press f2 and data set column it will ask me to enter the column number which is nothing but the a is column 1 b column 2 c column 3 now i need column a hyphen then press f2 at this time i need a column 2 value so enter column as 2 click on save that's it so first it will execute the sql statement select star from sheet 1 again it will run the loop within the loop you can see the message box values data set column 1 data set column 2 which is nothing but first it will display the first column value first records second records third records in the loop you can see each and everything so i'll run this task so you can see the values runtime window has been started here you can see i will go to my excel window in the first value you can see 2020 tinash 2019 automation anywhere 2018 2017 perfectly it's exporting all the values into the message displaying the message box perfect we got all the values in our message box so we can disable all those things so just we have used the select star from query and within the loop we have displaying the values in the data set column based on the column numbers we are showing displaying the values i will disable and next i will show you how to use the select count statement for that just go to sql query and say select star from the same query as well as we need to use the for loop connections under the loop each row in an sql query click on save delete this command in the data set column 1 you can see all the values so in the message box f2 data set column we have only one column values you cannot use the second columns there is no second columns in the count you can use only the data set column 1 it will display the total count of records in the excel workbook in basically uh, now in the excel command what we are doing is to check the command count we are going to excel and go to cell under the go to cell we need to use the end of the column option then based on the excel cell row active cell based on that we are counting the total counts using this select query we can get the total count very easily so now we can just run and see the results of the total count oh my god sorry for that really sorry I missed to enter the count values <laughs> instead of that I have used only select statement for that select count I need to use the select count of value 
feel is sorry i'll make the changes so select count of the column name title the column title then the sheet name that's it very simple previously we have used select select star from but here we need to use select count of within the bracket you need to use the title name your record title name you need to update that's it then click on save at this time we can see the exact count of total count available in the excel workbook perfect we can validate in the excel workbook here you can see there is 11 total 11 records are available the same message box displayed so even if i am deleting anything saving close this workbook at this time you can see the 10 records so now i have deleted one record so this time we are expecting 10 message box should be displayed perfect we got the results just we have used select count of the table name sorry the sheet heading name okay that header name as well as from sheet 1 and within the for loop we are displaying the data set column 1 so here we don't have any column 2 or 3 we have only one column just using this you can display the total count total number of records in the workbook so we'll disable this one next i'll show you how to update the values into the database for that here we have query update sheet 1 set final status so under the database use the insert update delete command so previously we have used sql query for this insert or update or delete you need to use the insert update delete query so delete the unwanted spaces here we are using update then the table name or sheet 1 name so here we are connecting the excel so you need to mention the sheet tab name then set final status which is equals thin ash so i'll open my workbook so you can see the results the excel workbook is opening in the meantime we can check perfect where is that in the column c you can see final status the column c mentioned as final status so set final status is equal to Nash where year is equal to 2017 so in the fifth record the year mentioned as 2017 right where 2017 is available then i need to change this value into Tinash. so this is my current requirement very simple so here it will directly change this to Tinash. it will update the values very simple set final status which is equals to Tinash, where year is equals 2017 very simple basic query so i'll close this workbook and i'll save this task and run it will ex execute the sql statement and uh, it will update the value based on the where condition where year is equals to 2017 it will update the value update sheet 1 set final status is equal tinash where year is equals I guess everything is right. We will run once again so we can see the results. I guess there are some issues in this query. So I will recheck again. Once again, I will recheck. I will open this workbook. So I'll revisit this query and update the video. I update this in the video description. Hope you learned something in this today. So really thanks for your time. Please watch all the other videos, like and subscribe my channel. Hope it looks you know everything is fine. I'll check this query once again and I'll update the corrected query in the description box, video description. So please watch all the other videos, like and subscribe my channel. Keep in touch. Really thanks for your time. Bye bye.